Hi, this is Jonathan with Vortec. Today I will show you how to export a VOK file from Cabinet Vision into Vortec Spaces. The goal of our application is to help interior designers, kitchen cabinet makers, and architects generate pictures and video walkthrough that will help you sell the project. It works by importing the CAD project from your favorite CAD software like Cabinet Vision, SketchUp, and others, and then help you transform it by applying materials that are supplied in the library, adjusting all of the lighting and ambience, and then uh, easily create uh, the pictures and the videos. So to export a file is quite easy. All you have to do when you're inside your project in Cabinet Vision, click on the 3D view, um, and then Utilities, Export Colada, it will pop up a window in there. You'll go uh, where it says save as type. Change that to Vortec files or VOK. I'll go ahead and name my project. And I will just go and save it here in the file folder on my desktop and save it. Something else that is nice to know also is that even once the project is loaded inside spaces, all of the materials and lighting have been applied. You can always go back to your Cabinet Division project, make any changes that you want and re-export the file. At this point, what you want to do is that uh, exactly the same way as before, go in 3D view, export Calada, change it to a Vortec file. But now instead of typing a name, I'll just go and overwrite my file. When it does that, it will ask me if I want to replace it. I'll just say yes. So even if the project is already opened in Spaces, Spaces will know that there's a new version and load only the changes so you don't lose any of the materials or lighting adjustment that you've done before. So now switching to my Vortex Spaces screen. This is the start screen where I already have a couple of projects loaded. In this case, what I will do is click on Select a file to import. Find the file that I've just saved here in my file folder on my desktop and then open it. At this point, Spaces will ask me if I want to keep uh, the same name for the project. In this case, I want. And then the project will simply open like that. Something else I could have done was to uh, simply just go on the desktop and double click on the file. It will just go and start Spaces and load it automatically for you. So now you're all ready to start applying your materials. Thank you for watching. You can click below to see the final result of this project. Make sure to watch the other videos in this series covering materials, lighting, videos and pictures, VR extension, and way more. If you are interested, we also offer one-on-one -on -one personalized online training covering all of the aspects of the application.